Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that's me up the tree, chopping it down. As you can see, that cherry tree from the back garden has completely gone. So at the start of the year, we decided to get rid of that, get rid of the sheds, get rid of the playhouse, completely clear the back garden out, and move the chickens to the back, because I thought there was a lot of wasted space there. The kids didn't use the playpen. The shed was rotten from the base up, so it was time for it to go. And uh, Froggy came over around the new year with his chainsaw to help me get the trunk down. I did chop most of the tree down with a handsaw, but uh, he helped me get that down. And then we set about burning all the waste wood, mainly from the shed, but all the small branches and twigs from the trees as well. We also got rid of a plum tree. Had a couple of fires over the uh, next few nights and then I started to build a retaining wall along the back edge to hold in a kind of terrace where the ground level was a bit higher at the back and then some cold weather started to come in so uh, we'll kind of pick that up uh, on the next clip and you'll see here then I moved into uh, the unit, the workshop, and we started to build the chicken pen, but here I am just finishing off the brickwork. Well, I think that's it for today. It's just approaching 3, 3.30ish, and uh, I've just managed to get a lower course in all the way across. Uh, broke up a load of the rubble. As you can see, there's a lot less there than there was. We've put that into a trench, about a spade white width and a spade deep, thereabouts. And, uh, yeah, just a little bit of a dog leg, just in the middle of the screen there, simply to get around the shutter in, but that's the course that's going to be buried. So I thought I'll just nip it out and round there. You can hardly tell, really, can you? And then on the second course, which brings it up to the same level as this, We'll, uh, we'll straighten it up from there, but I think that looks smart. That's all I'm going to do today. And yeah, kind of all the way along fits nicely. Just put a little spacer brick in there, so we've got a bit of overlap on that, uh, on that, that step down. But I think we'll run nicely with just... Uh, blocks all the way to the end and maybe a half in the end it'll look fine so that's it even the chickens are given up for the day today look they're hiding underneath out the way I can't blame them really and then what we're gonna do is I was gonna do it today but I'm not now this is the old sides for the shed we'll take them to pieces there's some good pieces of tongue and groove there, so I'll see if I can salvage them and turn it into a little bit of shuttering. Yeah, a bit of cladding for the new pen. And uh, we need to get, uh, get, 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 get we need to get a gravel board and a fence panel for over there where we've removed the rotten one. So there we are. We'll come back tomorrow. So I've been across to a new wood yard. The one we usually use has been closed because of this lockdown business. And we picked up some tantalized tile lats. So these are 48 by 25 mil timbers. And they're gonna be fine for building a pen. We've got some six millimeter ply, which will be fine for the walls. And I've already got some 18 mil in stock for a base. Uh, I need some uh, two, three by two legs. And I've designed this little uh, plan of the pen on SketchUp. As you can see, that's what the new pen's going to look like. Not coloured, of course. I'll be painting it at some point. And that's the run coop pen. That's what I should say. Put a parts list together. Here I've got 50 by 70 for the uprights on this pen section here. Could probably get away with using the tile lat, so I just bought 100 metres of the, uh, the tile lat, so that should be enough. 
plywood, cutting list all the way through here, cutting list all the way through here. This is the plywood cutting diagram so we can get all the pieces that we need. Two pieces of 18mm there for the base and then we need uh, all these sections of 6mm for the sides. But I'm going to build up the sides first before I cut any of these sheets of ply because I can double check the measurements then. So hopefully the next time you come and see me on this video we will be looking at uh, the framework of this particular coop. So I've spent the last couple of days putting together all the framework and then cutting backboards for things. I mean, that looks really good, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, I've cut, as you can see, and nailed on all these separate backboards for all the components. There we go. So I've just painted one side of it. Painted the front of the frames. This is the next one that's going to get the nail gun treatment. So we'll just pop it up here one-handed with the camera makes life difficult and I'll go and pick up the sheet that's going to go in there here's the base as you can see a few more bits there wedge component for the side I think this is the big piece for for that section so we'll just take this in uh, obviously being in another lockdown I struggled to get the right paint so believe it or not I've just whacked this with some cheap masonry paint from Tool Station, and well, the red and the white is quite a nice effect, I think. And the uh, uprights, they're already pressure treated, as you can tell with some of these other frames that I've made in the background. And I just had half a tin of damp stop left. I know it's an expensive paint, but at least with it being white, it hasn't let the moisture that's in these uh tile lats bleed through and these sections here are for the pen so i'm going to make it up uh modular you can see also i've done the door there as well and that means that i can transport it put it up and then if we move house hopefully we'll move house soon might not happen though but if we move house we can just take it apart and take this pen with us so I've made this one to last. It's going to house, I hope, upwards of 10 chickens at the moment. I don't, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Right, let's see if I can get this board on here without smudging it too much. I've done that very well one-handed, don't you think? So we'll centralise this. Just got to be careful that we don't foul anywhere where there is going to be uh, any batons. And then we're just going to go and nail her up. Just like that. Just like that, he says. And then again, I'll see if I can do this one-handed. Probably not very well. Just end up smashing it on the floor. Catch it with my foot. And there we go. That's the back panel. You know, it would make sense to bring a tripod into work. I've got about four. In fact, there's one over here that I'm not using <sighs> like a plonker but I thought if I don't pick up my phone and get some footage I'm not gonna get any footage so there we go a little sneak peek as what we've done today being the 7th of January I think 